Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Bill Dance Saltwater. Hey, if you're wanting to catch some of the biggest speckled trout you've ever seen, then the Indian River on the Florida Space Coast is the place to go. And Bill's good buddy and super guide, Captain Peter Deeks, is the man you need to hook up with. Bill Dance absolutely loves spending time along the Space Coast, and he's a firm believer that the trout get bigger and bigger every time he travels to that part of the country. And it's not just the fishing that's so great there either, folks. There are a million things to do in the area, from visiting Cape Canaveral, to relaxing on one of the beautiful beaches on the Atlantic Ocean. Maybe check out a water adventure like paddleboarding, or taking an airboat ride. No matter what you choose to do, along the Space Coast, you're never too far from an outdoor adventure. But today, Bill and his good friend are doing what they both love to do, fishing for these giant speckled trout. And Bill has all the faith in the world that old Peter can put him right where the big boys swim. Tell you what, let's hop in the boat with him and see what happens. I'll bet you it's gonna be exciting. Say you had a, a major front come through mm -hmm. and you had a, <clears throat> a drop in water temperature. I'm not talking about surface temperature. Say down to about three feet. Right. What, what would these fish do? Um, the biggest fish stay in the really, really shallow water counting on the sun to warm them up. And the fish from maybe 26 inches and down, they go to deeper holes, deeper water, residential canals, and they try to find the warmth and they lay down there on the bottom. So these fish don't just rush out <clears throat> to the deepest water and go down real deep? Not the biggest fish, no. So they'll stay pretty much shallow and fight the cold water. They do, yeah. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, you'll see them in. A I would think. Of water. I would think the big. I think they would move out toward the river channel or, and try to find deeper depths. Most do, but just not the like 28 inches and up. They just the great big the trout. The great big ones stay in the, the shallow water. Eight, ten, twelve, eight, yeah. ten, twelve pounders. They'll stay in the shallow, shallow depths. Yeah, they usually do. But I bet they don't feed much, do they? They don't. They're real slow. After, you know, as soon as that little front comes through, it's always really sunny. So the water that's less than 18 inches deep, because it's crystal clear water and it's real shallow, the sun warms that water so fast. And that's what they go and look for. Toodaloo. Man, he thumps that thing. Trout? I think so. Yeah, nice trout. Nice little trout. Barely hooked, Bill. Let me grab him. Okay. You want to hold the rod for me? Big old trout. Giant, but a good fish for sure. I'll get this hook. What's in that plate? So he's really hooked cool, better. It looks like it. Yeah. I got it. I got the hook. Beautiful, huh? Mm-hmm. Can you see that in the sunlight there? Yeah, all that purple hue in there. That's another big old trout. Look at those two fangs out there. Look, two fish. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. And Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's conditions log is brought to you in part by LureLock. Their TacLogic technology locks your terminal tackles safely into place. 100% made in America. LureLock, revolutionizing the way you fish. Look at her stretch her neck way up there. Got one on. You got one? Got one. Oh, right on. Right on. The tugger. You the man, B Paul. Cutting it out to the right. He's heading out to that deep water. Maybe uh, maybe lighten your drag just a tad bit if you feel like you need to. It's pretty tight. Let's go to the back. Going all the way around. How we looking? Looking good. We'll probably come all the way back to the front again. You ready for me to grab him? Yeah, <laughs> I thought I was. Okay, you ready for him? Yeah, I'll grab him for you. Well, those are pretty fish. Soaking me. You're getting a good bath, aren't you? <laughs> A giant, but another respectable fish. Yes, sir. Got it. Yeah. Beautiful specimen. Are you set her free? Those are nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish. All, all these trout are healthy looking. They're just they're good looking fish. They really are. I mean, that was that was a beautiful fish. Super fat. Probably went five pounds. That's a nice you know, fish. what amazes me is the number of five, four, five, and six pound fish you catch down here. Just your average. I mean, it's just, you know, and then boom, you get you get those big bonus fish. You, you know? do, yeah, yeah. You, you you fill the void with four to six pound fish, and then uh, and then you wait. Boom! For that. All of a sudden, you catch a, a, a I mean, a, a showing a whopper, and they're mixed right in there with them. Too. They are. That's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for that big bonus fish. Ooh wee! I haven't got a great look at him yet. Oh, he's good fish. Did you, did you see him then? Yeah, right there he just flashed. That's a nice fish, Bill. Oh, yeah. Good one, huh? That's a nice one. All right, here I come back. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Coming around you, Peter. He's really working, yeah. Look how fat that Jesse is. <laughs> it is. That's a really good one. Check out that chunky monkey. <laughs> Pop that hook out real quick. It's right there in the corner. I don't think I should get it. Let me get it. All right. I got it. Nice. Did you see that? That's what got you. That's what got you, old boy. Oh, he looked at it and said, I'll bite it again. Here's where I'm looking. Look, I'm covered. Look at here. That wide. Stout fish for sure. Uh, that wide. Whoa. Oh, that was just gross. This spot. Speckled trout. Big. Set her back. Devil. Set her back in, Bill. You ready? Look, that is a fat, fat on the ground. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. And Lurlock, turning the tackle world upside down. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Strend, the standard of dependability since 1958. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. How important is hook size? Uh, hook size is extremely important. Um, I like to match the size of the hook to the size of the bait. I don't like to match the size of the hook to the size of the fish that we're going to catch because the bait has to swim freely and look natural. So it's really important. So in other words, it's more important to match the hook to the size of the bait versus the hook to the size of the fish. Absolutely, if you put too big of a hook on a, on a little bait, it's gonna sink him down. And if you have too small of a hook on too big of a bait, you won't get a, uh, a hook up when the fish bites your bait. So it's real important. This is just a two watt Gamakatsu octopus hook. It's kind of a hybrid between a circle hook and a J hook. You don't gut hook the fish or hook them deep. Um, but you can still set the hook really hard out of the bait and into the fish, so it's it's a great live bait hook. Okay, nice one, Vipo. Boy, you know these fish. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> What's the biggest mistake that anglers make uh, when they come here and search for a gigantic trout? The biggest mistake is not being quiet enough when approaching the fish and fishing the fish. So trout. They, they don't hold real hard in current, they don't hold real hard on structure, they just kind of loaf around. So if you, don't, if you don't approach really quietly on those fish and make really long casts and stay quiet on the boat, those fish will just drift off farther than you're fishing them and you'll never even get a chance at catching them. That's probably the biggest mistake is people fish like they're fishing for other types of species. They come in fast, they come in hard and they make a lot of commotion. So if you're targeting fish with live bait, mullet is a great choice. I love and, mullet, yes. And free lining. Free lining, especially in these shallow flats because they just kick out there. And, and, and of course, spinning tackle is, right. is, a, is a way to go. Definitely. With 20 to 30 pound braid. Yep. And uh, say a two to three foot section of full carbon leader in what, 30 pound test? Yeah, 20 to 30 pound test. Okay. So incoming or outgoing tides seem to have a, a bearing. I love fishing when the current and the wind are going the same direction. So when you have an inlet, which is where the current goes in and out of, the opposite sides of the inlet will have opposite current direction. So the current flows towards the inlet and out of the inlet. So you can always, you want to try to match up what side of the inlet you fish on based on the direction of the wind. So have the wind at your back and the current at your back and you'll flow the baits to the fish. <laughs> He's a giant. He's a giant, he says. I ain't kidding you, this is like the biggest trout I've caught in a long time myself. Wow. Here, I'm gonna grab him, Bill, if you wanna take the rod up here. All right, I'll help you. <laughs> Check that dinosaur out. <laughs> look at that, it looks like a log going along. <laughs> Got me nervous. When Bill Dance comes to town, the big trout show up. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's still not through, okay. Lipping. Oh, I got him. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the out. size of that baby. Oh, man. Look at that, that tail. Oh, good gracious, what a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is huge. I catch a lot of big ones with my clients, but never myself. The mouth, now, we were talking about the mouth on it. 
Look at the size of that mouth. All right, Bill, I'm gonna put her back, okay? Okay, buddy. That's a pretty fish. She Where she goes. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. What's the key to catching big sheephead? Well, my buddy and guide Josh Nelson and Destin says, light tackle, a few baits, and use 20-pound braid with a 2-ounce lead and an 18 to 24 inches of fluorocarbon leader with a one-off gamakatsu circle hook and says it's good to have live shrimp and fiddler crabs. And don't forget to concentrate on depth of 12 to 18 feet from December to February. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by the Build and Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. A new kind of lure box that lets you drop everything and lose nothing. People have accused me of being scatterbrained, but if I happen to drop this box, the only thing that's scattered is me. They come in three sizes. Get you one, get you two, or better than that, get them all. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. And they move out like a late freight when you set that hook on them. Right? <laughs> he sure did, didn't they're he? gone. Where do these trout spawn? Um, they spawn up on shallow flats, sandbars, grass flats. Um, seems like about two to three feet of water. Are big trout found from the upper reaches of the Indian River all the way down? Or are there just certain sections where they're located? Well, you can find the big trout throughout the entire Indian River Lagoon, but certain areas have more large fish, heavier concentrations than others. Uh, Palm Bay is a great area. A little further south than Fort Pierce is a great area. But you can find them throughout. But those two areas are my personal favorites. How about the big snook? Same. The big snook and the big trout, they like the same areas and they hang out together. Oh, he's not ready. Woo! That's a I bet you that one right there is six pounds. Oh, definitely. That's a solid trout. Solid for sure. Got it. Cool. You're a heck of a guy letting me catch these fish. Look, look how fat that fish is. He's so fat. Huh? So fat. The belly and the girth. Big old dorsal. Look, look how fat he is. Look at that stomach. Whew, pretty fish. That's a that's six plus. Yeah, that's a solid, solid fish. What season of the year is best for speckled trout? Uh, the best time to catch big trout would be the spring. So March through May is the best time of year to catch the big trophy trout. But you can catch them here. What? Year round, we catch them year round. They don't go anywhere. Uh, the problem in the summer and the fall is we get a big influx in smaller fish, two to three pound fish, so it's hard to isolate just the big ones. And then in the um, in the winter, things slow down a little bit, but we can catch big trout year round. Ooh, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice fish. 
Oh boy. How big is that one? Ah. Uh, you're getting to be a trout master, what do you think? I don't know. You got it? Got it. Okay, you're going home. Hey, what did I tell you? You make every cast count. <laughs> Remember that. Uh, remember that old boy. Don't forget it. Remember that old boy. Well, that's about the best advice any fisherman could ever hear. Make every cast count. And there's no question that's exactly what these two great anglers do out on the water all day long. And there's no finer place to make a cast than Florida's Space Coast. There are literally miles and miles of water here just waiting for you to make a cast into hoping for a giant trout like what our guys were catching today. If you find yourself here in the Palm Bay area, along the east coast of Florida, and we sure hope you do, how about giving Captain Peter Deeks a call? You'll be glad you did. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. Please join us again next week for another exciting episode of Bill Dance Saltwater. hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week. <laughs>